this deep dive, we're going to take a look at using Revoice Pro 5 to create a realistic sounding set of doubles. Let's dive in. For the purpose of these deep dive videos, I'm working with a stereo instrumental. But please note that you don't need to create and import an instrumental track because our deep DAW integration enables processing to be instantly heard in context. So I've got a Revoice Pro session over here. We have a lead vocal and we have an instrumental. Let's take a quick listen. Overall, I'm really happy with those results in terms of the tuning, but this is missing something. This needs to sound bigger, and nothing makes a chorus sound more explosive than having a wide stereo vocal double that's layered in underneath. So let's use Revoice Pro 5 to create one. I'm going to click the B key, and this calls up the new process panel. Now instead of match, timing, pitch, or level, let's choose a doubler process. By default, because I've selected this region, this is set to selected audio. In most cases, this is probably what you want, as you want a vocal double to be happening at the same in point and end point as your actual lead vocal track. That being said, if you did just want to have this over a very specific section, you could quite simply highlight across over here and notice the input start and end now changes to selected playback range. That being said, for this, I'm gonna create a stereo vocal that goes across this whole chorus. So this has been changed back to selected audio. Now, in terms of presets, this is where you have to make a decision. We need to choose whether we want to have a mono vocal or a stereo vocal. Now, I think there are certain cases where you might want to have a mono. So, for example, if I just wanted to layer in something underneath a verse, I might choose a mono. But in this case, I definitely want to go with the stereo. So let's navigate to the presets. And under factory presets, notice that we have these different options over here. So we can look. We have a mono slap. We have a mono vocal loose timing, mono vocal mild. And then we have some stereo presets over here. I generally like using stereo vocal mild, but for this, I'm going to go with something different. I'm going to go with vocal moderate. Now, even though this doesn't indicate this in the name, this is a stereo preset. So after we've chosen our preset, the input is already set to lead vocal and the output will be automatic. Let's go ahead and create this new process. Now, once we create this new process, that's it. If you know the preset that you wanna work with, we can instantly addition these results. If that's exactly what you want, you're done. You can simply spot this back into your DAW's timeline and you're ready to go. That being said, I want to explore a couple different ways that we can make some tweaks or adjustments if we need this to do something slightly different. So I'm going to click on the process panel over here and in the top left, we have the ability to display or hide the process controls. So let's click this. Now, as this is a stereo vocal, notice that we have two waveforms on the output track. We have a left channel and we have a right channel. If we head over to the process settings, notice we have channel one and we have channel two. So channel one represents the left channel settings and channel two represents the right channel settings. We can make some basic adjustments and the two areas that I wanna really focus on over here is the average delay and also the formant. Notice that we have an average delay of 25 and a formant shift of minus three on the left channel. And then if we scroll to the right channel, we have 34.9 and we have a formant shift of 2.98%. Let's tweak these a little bit. I want to tighten this up just a tiny bit. So maybe instead of 25, we will pop this down to somewhere around 20. And let's actually exaggerate the formant shift a bit. I'm going to bring this down to somewhere around maybe minus four and a half. Now, if we scroll over to the right channel, let's bring this one down to somewhere about 30. And let's bring this one up a little bit. So we're tweaking these settings. And as you can see in real time, the process is being updated in real time. So if I was to solo this out and click play. We can instantly listen to those results and we can do this in isolation or in context of our whole entire track. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here with respect to the way these settings work. This is very much a process that is to intend to create a realistic sounding double. So where other effects that you might use create simply static offsets in either pitch or time. Notice here that this says average delay. So we have an average delay of 19.4 and we have an average delay of 29. And also with the form and shifts, all of these parameters here are designed to create a natural sounding double. So in many cases, these sound a lot more realistic than if we were just using a static effect plugin to create this double. 
Now this, I think, suits this particular track very well because like I said, this is actually a chorus section and I want to have this to be super wide. Let's take one quick listen. Let's mute this. So you can see that has a huge impact and now we could tuck this into our mix in order to get the best result. That being said, in some cases, you might actually be better off served using a mono double. So in this case, let's say that we wanted to make a change to this. I'm going to navigate over to the presets and instead of choosing the vocal moderate, let's go with a mono vocal mild. If I choose a mono preset, notice that this doubler process updates in real time. And now we simply have a mono track. The same rules apply here for making any changes to our preset. So in terms of our average delay, if I wanted to change that setting, maybe we'll knock it down to somewhere around 17.6. And let's try to really exaggerate the form and shift here for a moment. I'm going to enable high res mode and let's bring this all the way down. So notice this is recalculating this. And now if I solo this out, let's take a quick listen to this double. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Let's need shift somebody, it up now. Body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Yeah, again. So depending on what your track needs, you have a lot of creative control. I'm going to bring this, I think, down just a little bit, and we'll leave this in high res mode. And now let's take a listen to this mono double. I'm going to solo and isolate just the lead vocal and the lead vocal out. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, and in body context like of the you. track. Need somebody, body like you. So the concept of creating a double is actually very easy. Once you open up the new doubler process, you choose your preset. If you're happy with your results, you can spot them back into your timeline. But before we go, I want to take a look at one last thing. If you're working in a DAW that offers ARA compatibility, such as Studio One, Cubase, or Reaper, we have the ability with the new Revoice Pro Link plugin to actually capture and create that doubler process in the background. So with this audio event selected, and I've instantiated Revoice Pro Link, I'm going to navigate to the mode that says Capture and Create Doubles. Now from here, if you know the preset that you want to work with, in many cases you'll find something that works and you'll tend to gravitate towards using that on a regular basis. It's simply a matter of navigating over to the preset that you'd like to use, choosing the preset, and now we can capture the audio. So if I capture this audio, and now I click the Show Revoice Pro option, Notice that this vocal double has already been created. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Now at this point, it would just be a matter of spotting this back in, which we can do quite easily by holding shift or option, click, hold, and drag until we see this icon, drag and drop into our DAW's timeline, and then we can simply use any commands that are relevant in our DAW of choice that allow us to spot or move to origin. In this case, in Cubase, move events to origin, and now we have something that we can instantly addition from within our DAW's timeline. So that's creating realistic sounding vocal doubles instantly with Revoice Pro 5. We'll catch you for more in the next video.